Michelle from Suggesta, Sicily. We're on the red carpet getting ready for the screening of Leaves of the Tree, a movie shot partly in Sicily, partly in Texas. But we're standing in front of an amazing Greek temple that has been here for 2,500 years, Alfred. You know, one thing I realized that there are more Greek antiquities here in Sicily than there are in Greece. And we're standing in front of perhaps the most wonderful example of Doric architecture that there is. Preserved 2,500 years. It just blows me away when you think about it. Virtually intact, not touched by nature or men. And also, this is the site of the screening of the movie Leaves of the Tree. Enjoy this beautiful story about an American family reuniting with their Sicilian heritage. Ciao! The temple in Segesta is located on a hilltop on Mount Barbaro in the province of Trapani on the northwest coast of Sicily. It was one of the major cities of the Elimian people, one of the three indigenous peoples of Sicily. Not far from Segesta, down the valley, is the coastal fishing village of Castellamare del Golfo. It became the main harbor for Segesta as early as the 5th century when the Greeks were there. The name is roughly translated Sea Fortress of the Gulf, deriving from the medieval fortress in the harbor, claimed to have been built both by the Arabs and Normans. This little quaint town is the starting scene of a life-altering journey for a Texas attorney and his family. David Healy is one of the most sought-after patent and antitrust attorneys in the United States. For years, he worked long hours under extreme high stress and traveled extensively for high-profile cases. In 2006, he began a series of trips to Castellamare del Golfo to reconnect with his maternal grandfather's family. He started research at the town cemetery and ultimately found his relatives, the Buffa family. Just overwhelming joy to be able to know that I'd found the right place. Because I'd always heard about this place and heard about how wonderful it was, but I was never sure this was the place until I actually saw the name of my uh, grandfather's brother. In 2009, at the pinnacle of his career, he began to have some serious heart issues. It was so bad, his doctor advised him to stop working. Healy was forced to stop working because of years of medical treatments, including four surgeries that would follow. But through it all, he clung on to Sicily and was still able to visit occasionally. In 2010, David picked up writing as a hobby. Soon a novel emerged, Kindness for the Damned, a novella of intrigue, love, and redemption in Sicily. The book was published in 2011. A screenplay followed based on the novel called Leaves of the Tree. Then Healy decided to make his own movie. There's a line that divides humanity and divinity. I crossed it. And I turned to her and I said, Sarah, are you sure you want to be an actress? This is really boring. And she looked at me and said, Dad, you're a patent lawyer. He made the project into a family affair. His wife Becky and one of the daughters, Sarah, the youngest actor in the movie, would spend 28 days filming in Sicily. It was the most fabulous 28 days of our lives. We um, just, it, we just felt like we had been here forever. I always felt like I was a Texan and that I would never really venture out to move anywhere else and after filming here in Casa de Mar, I, I have it in my mind that I could actually live here one day. I think it's just um, an extreme awakening for all of us as a family and we just can't wait to share it with the rest of the world. Mostly my role is Danielle. She's just a pretty quiet, just really smart kind of in her own world, just work a lot. And going to Italy, she kind of learns to live a little, I guess. I've been going to rehab four times a week for a year so I could come back to work. 
The story is loosely based on David's life and was filmed partially in Texas, partially in Casta La Mata del Golfo. I'm so very tired of doctors, honey. This will be my last one. In the movie, an ailing lawyer from a big law firm in Texas comes to Sicily to investigate a centuries-old tale about a magical olive tree's leaves that have healing powers. Several subplots of love, faith, and redemption are all weaved together in this 96-minute movie. The message is that God heals and faith heals and ultimately faith in God brings us together. In 2015, the movie was released, and on July 31st, under a blue moon, the first Sicilian screening was shown at the site of one of the opening scenes of the movie. Yes, the majestic temple in Sagesta. Over 500 people, including many local dignitaries, attended this private screening. It's amazing. I'm so proud of my family for putting on such a fantastic show for everyone and making my dad's dream a reality. Cast members, producers, extras from the town, and many of David's newly discovered Sicilian cousins reunited for the occasion. Uh, very important. Uh, because um, there is um, uh, my my town, Castellama del Golfo, with the, with the sea, with the uh, um, and the tradition of uh, my town. So for me, it's a dream. We uh, was waiting for this moment uh, from last year, yes. and we are very happy to to stay here with uh, our cousin and the, his family. It's amazing to have them here in Sicily for this film. And uh, we met uh, every year for uh, the film, but uh, because uh, we rebounded uh, our family to USA to Sicily. Huge family reunion. Sagesta ha ispirato lo Mr. David Hurley nella stesura del suo libro. The project was a collaboration between Americans and Sicilians. La cosa più importante è vedere due gruppi di persone, un gruppo americano, un gruppo italiano. Despite language and cultural barriers, they were able to create a spectacular film and form lifelong friendships. We trusted one another, we believed in each other, and teamwork, and we collaborated, and we made something magical. Together. Casting director Donna McKenna was overcome with emotion when she reflected over the event's significance. But I'm looking at the hills and the mountain and to have an opportunity to come here to this beautiful, beautiful country and film and be welcomed by the whole town. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, wow, <laughs> I can't believe I'm that. Sicily and the movie has given something for David to live for, for his wife and daughters, a chance to reconnect with him. And for all, a labor of love built around faith and family. For over two and a half millennia, this Greek temple at Sagesta has served as a gathering place. And on this occasion, it became a crossroads for all who love Sicily from near and far. Mystical Sicily, a crossroads where past, present, and future are always intersecting. We'll have much more on Greek Sicily and other episodes of You, Me and Sicily because really Greece is one of the major players in the history of this region. Not only here, Carmina, Syracuse, Agrigento, you name it, you have to understand fundamentally what Greeks and Greece did to the foundation of this country to understand Roman, to understand Saracen, to understand Spanish, to understand the history of this beautiful and And if you've enjoyed this episode of You, Me, and Sicily, check us out at evazmediagroup.com. See you next time. Ciao.